Arthur's got the gun. That's all I have to do if I get if I'm on my own and everyone's finished like an hour before me. Actually, with a starting pistol. Left leg lead. Are you doing a bit of dancing? Have you? <laughs> yes, it's not it's quite, quite nice actually. A pleasant little jog out in the in the world yeah. today rather than uh,
<laughs> Both. <laughs> Different ways. I think the down is an easier skill to master. You see, I'm alright, I carry that little bit of extra weight so I can let gravity work in my favour. <laughs> and then up Joan Collins, here we go. As far as I'm concerned, this is the worst hill. This one, this one here. Ah, oh, the problem is, you don't know when you're at the top. Because you get to the top and then you're still going up. Because the worst the on the bridge. Yeah. Oh, on the bridge. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, the. No. Yes, yeah, yeah. gravel pit like that's the one where, they, where they've got the dog leg and the feeding station. Yes. Oh, this is not that. Yes, gravel pit like yes. I had forgotten about that. I've not done that now in, in several years. I never liked that event. Yeah, it's quite hard, I think, not it? You right there, Rod? Oh, yeah. Are you giving us a, uh, yeah. a view of the whole thing? I thought so. That would be good, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Either show people that the walls are a bit hilly, or that this isn't that bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah depending on how wide angled you've got. Well, that's it. it. I'm going to try and capture footage of a few events this oh, yeah. year. Oh, right, yeah. I ran the uh, Harvest Hobble route the other day. Oh, yeah. But in reverse. Okay. Right. It is. <laughs> Surprisingly. But it's nicer going from Nettleton to Ludford along the Viking Way than the other way around. Views are great. Yeah. That's a lovely event, I might try and squeeze that in again at some point. Yeah. Can't this year. What have you got on this year? Um oh, I've got one at uh, we're in Millway next well next weekend. Okay, yeah, I'm away in Staffordshire. Our club. And then That's a nice day. It is like that one. Did it last year. Pretty much enjoyed it. Usually quite warm. Yeah. So got that Windermere in the Kent Road runner this month. Uh-huh. Uh, Liverpool and what, Liverpool, Marathon? Liverpool Marathon, yeah. And the, the Giant's Head. Oh, down okay. that Dorset? Dorset, yeah. Oh, yeah. How far is that? That's a uh, marathon. That sounds good. It does actually, it's a, it's a good weekend by all accounts. You go down there Friday night, the race yeah. is on the Saturday. So you get Friday night, they have a bit of a party. Saturday, they have a lot of a party. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. Yeah, I'm doing a Duke Reef. Okay. I've seen that. Why do I know that? 10, a 30 and a 40. Yeah. And I'm going to go up to 40. Oh, is it Nottinghamshire? Yeah, Sherwood yeah, Forest that's it. That's it. That should be cracking. I knew I'd looked at it. I think I'd looked at the 30. Because yeah. I want to get that a bit longer. No, I think it was uh, way marked. Okay. Makes it a bit easier. Yeah. As long as you don't miss your way. Well, that's it. I put in for a whole marathon a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. It's so close. Yeah, it's tough not it to. Looks a decent course. I like the finish on the river. Yeah. And the docks. I think that might be the one that I race this year. Yeah. It'll be quite tough. Oh yeah, I'm sure it will. Like, like 18 miles. Yeah. 
but I've got a oh boy, I was going to say an enforced I don't do an awful lot in August running wise no. so I'm going to have oh we go to Smuggler's Trot yeah that's fantastic I'm doing something uh, right at the beginning of August something over in in Derbyshire not the high peak is it? I don't think it's so high peak 40 no 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 it's only a 20 Okay. It's a 26. Yeah. Just a 26. <laughs> <laughs> One of our lads, you probably know him, Mike Wells. I know Mike. Yeah. He's just done the... Uh, he's Manchester, soft yeah. story. Did really, really well. Looked really good as well. Six days later, he's up Highland Fling, 53 miles. Shocking. Two hours, 20, uh, 10 hours, 20. He's amazing, isn't he? Yeah. And all that in a tutu. <laughs> I can only presume so, I'm going to try and get one. Considering he couldn't run four years ago. Really? It shows what I could do if I really tried to concentrate on yeah. it, I suppose. Yeah. And being lucky with injury. Of yeah. But he's, what I can't believe is how he's managed to put together the run streak he's done. He's, must be coming up 1300 days, you know, it's a yeah. consecutive run. And often he runs twice a day. He runs on a Tuesday, he runs lunchtime with his work colleagues in Nottingham, yeah. off in the 10k. Then they'll come over to Caster because his lass is in Raisin. See how she sees him. And uh, he'll come into the club run. That's incredible. And if it's a session, he'll work really hard on it. Yeah. And that's why he's getting what he deserves, yeah, isn't it, really? So, you get what you deserve. Yeah, you look at Ryan, Paige and uh, Nick Martin. Nick's coming on really well. He is, well. he's doing really well. Brilliant. It'll be interesting again this year. And looking at those 5Ks on the prom, the results there. Tony Whiteman's going to have to work, keep working, isn't he? I think so. I don't <laughs> think he can just turn up and do them now. He's got uh, a bit of competition. And of course our part runner record's there to go if, uh, if Tony's losing his luster. What sort of numbers are you getting? We lose quite a lot of our people to it each week. Yeah, well you have a fantastic contingent out on yeah. a Saturday to, to part run. About 130 now. Yeah, that's very good. We've just topped the, the 100 average for the since it started oh, this week. Good. So yeah. it's very good. And it's, it's only going to build over the summer. Yeah, because you get... You'll get holiday makers. Yes! Once it's established, That's people it. start looking once you're within the fold, which I'm not. But I know Mike Wells is doing, when we're away in Staffordshire, our Saturday morning run starts at 10. Yeah. He's going off somewhere locally, do a park run at 9 o'clock. <laughs> Catch us up. Oh, well. As he will. He will, yeah. <laughs> No, he's incredible, it's like. I had three years of being pretty keen in my late 40s. Yeah. I did three, three sub threes successive years. But it does take a lot out of you mentally, doesn't it? it yes. To train to that intensity. It does, it does. And that was my problem. I got to 36. I was no longer competitive within the club at 36. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I thought, well, there's no point. I'm not going to be competitive on any major scale. If I'm not competing within the club, I'm just going to run long, get quantity in, yeah. enjoy it, and well, tick off a milestone. And then next year, I've reached my milestone. I'll be 40, so I can then start training properly again yeah. and competing a bit. Yeah, yeah, always, that does help. I'll tick over to 40, uh, to 60 uh, in August. Yeah. But, uh, so I've won Chester now 60. That's good. Rise and uh, Stanford 30k. Yeah. Which is more pleasing than Chester really because it's a real good standard. It's it's a, it is. It's a good. It's a lovely event as well. I it love Stanford. Yeah, I agree. Tough, but it's great. Yeah. Really. I should be back there eventually. And uh, then I was hoping to go to hole 20 and do likewise, but I've got this funny chesty thing, Ooh. you know, that hung around for six weeks. Yes. So I decided not to do it. It helped my recovery. Uh, so, uh, 
had been thinking, oh, North Saints half, 131. I ran that a couple of years ago. So if I run 131, chance of the prize. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, 134. I think, if I'm lucky. Still a decent time. Lose the edge. Yes. Yeah, I did 127 at North Links after I trained. I trained for good for age for Brighton. Yeah. And uh, it wasn't that the conditions were wrong on the day. And I blew up and I'd been ill the week before. Yeah. But I still had that that edge, as it were. So I could. I turned up two weeks later to North Links with a real grudge. Yeah. I, re- I really wanted to get something out of Indeed. a winter of training. Yeah. Absolutely well it, and yeah, 127. Yeah. But in the end, I trained for 310. I didn't get it, but if I had, that was the year they put it down to 305 anyway. Yeah. So I'd been oh, even, yeah. In fairness, I'd have been even more gutted. <laughs> what did you get in the end? 340. Yeah, so that was a big blow up. It was a big blow up. On average, our average pace is even all the time four miles an hour. Wow. That's good yeah. going. It is. And that's for three days. And always time, we have a good day. But because we keep winning. Yeah. <laughs> well, you, you have to defend, don't you? Yeah. Is a little, it's still high, you know, yeah. about 3,000, but a bit more forgiving. A bit more forgiving, not so yeah. lucky, because I'm not winning. All right, going up, but no, coming off. Sue comes in support as a driver, and uh, another lad comes over as a driver. And uh, so we stay in the cottage. Three of them are vegetarians, so it's a lot easier that way. Yeah. But I'm trying to eat in pots. It's amazing how fast you can come off. Once <laughs> <laughs> you've got good grip. Yeah. Somebody was telling me they had brought in a new event this early summer at Kettle. Okay. There used to be one. Canton. It died about seven or eight years ago. But it's a similar, similar one, 23 miles, I think, yeah. with a shorter option. Okay. It's really like on the LDWA side. So, so, such a lovely area. 
get to be in there. It's on audio as well. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. I can remove the sound. I can take the sound off. I don't think people are going to listen to me. <laughs> we should have been given a running commentary on the terrain. That we? would have been ideal, wouldn't it? How to run it. Bit of guided touring, yeah. On a downhill down now. Hill, take it steady up the first bit to the salt bin. Start pushing a little. And as it evens up, get your pace up to come off the top down the hill. Go off the top, cruise down the hill to the bottom. Hit, hit the bend. Nice little roll here. I'm hard to do a lot of damage. Keep something, but my heartbreak. Power. Is that a car? Sounds like yeah. it. You go first. Cheers, right. I've seen my <laughs> I went up to the Mount Hobble in March. Oh, yeah. That's 30 odd, isn't it? 30, yeah. Okay, please. Other way around. Yeah, other way around. Yeah. Well, no. Start run. Got to walk. I walk for the first half of that. Right at the back, only two behind us. We got to a flat bit. I'll just try a little jog. Start at 50 metres and walk. And over the course of an hour, got going. Yeah. And do you know, you won't believe it. Beat last year's time <laughs> by 10 minutes in shit. Shocking. Just because more and later. Yeah. And I never put my body under much stress. It's a lot that it's hard to run unless you really fit. You walk it. It's often the key though, isn't it? It's the only way that you can do several events like that in close. It was very enjoyable because you got to meet everywhere. Yeah. We've got that instead. Time to have a chat. It's a lot of miles. We're out. It's, 50. it's a nice social run, though. The time passes. I did windmill last year with uh, the woman. I think who was third in uh, in Hull in the uh, 2012 Hull Marathon. Oh, okay. We just yeah. trotted around, grabbing yeah. gossip all the way around. And then another guy caught us up. I know from from the 100 club who's from the yeah. North East Marathon Club so I knew we were having a run with him as well having a trot and it was just it was just fun and the miles go it disappeared don't they yeah you don't notice oh look more, more food to have <laughs> oh cake I'll have some of that what else you got sandwiches yes please the longer you go the more savoury yes that's true it's a suggestion I sent to the uh, Harvest Hovel was that because it was all cake? Yeah. And I said, look, just get a few rolls and just put some marmite in or something. Marmite tuna. Super. A bit of cheese. Yeah. Sandwich spread. Just something a bit of salt. Yeah, 
Yeah, I've done Wild Swimming a couple of times. And the food on it is actually really good. Uh, final big food stop, which is at uh, Wet Bank. About eight miles from the end. Yeah. The table groaning food. And there's everything you possibly think of in there. Pork pies, <laughs> cheese, quiches, as well as all the flapjacks. Yeah. Really good towards the end. That's what you want though, you're out over your lunch, you want your lunch really, don't you? Yeah. I like this hill. You can run fast down this one, it's not too steep. Not like that other one. No. You come off the crossroads, that's a bit that's, he's just that bit steep. Yeah. That's a bit technical. This one you can just this drop. Can race down. And you get a bit of momentum to go up this little the question is always, do you over, if you're catching someone, do you overtake them and hope you can hang on up the hill, or you just hang back to power past the final bit? Well, last year, you hung back uh -huh. and then powered past. <laughs> That's my usual tactic. Yes. I usually try, I try to work on the fact that supposedly I've got a little bit of endurance. Obviously I can't compete with you because you've got considerably more. But it's for minus two minutes. <laughs> it is an accelerating curve, yeah. I noticed from when I hit 55. Yeah. Through the 50s I've hardly lost anything. In fact, I'm a brilliant 54. I'm only three out of three. Well done, Leslie! Hiya, Leslie! That's uh, so, um, Black dog, fungi. Yeah. Which is quite amazing. So I'm really pleased with that. And then when I got into 55 thinking that oh, this is my season, it never happened. I was nine seconds. No, I wasn't. I was not. My last crop speed, I think it's a two lapper. That's right, a two lapper in July here. A 54 year old, I was two weeks off 55. I was nine seconds inside the course record from well, 55. Well, I don't get within five minutes. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> just gone. It's just two weeks too early. Because <laughs> this is one to have a get your name on this. It's fantastic, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Such a brilliant name. Isn't it? Local and it's well known. I've been at. Well, everyone respects it, don't they? Yeah. I've been at start lines everywhere. They say, Oi, Cleethorpes. It's not like your crocs be this. Yeah. <sighs> That's not too bad, huh? 